Hello friends, in this video I wanted to update you guys about one more design uh, which I did for the using the Telit GSM and GPS modules. So this is a personal tracker board, it's also quite small. Uh, but the, because of the size of the GSM module, uh, the GLG 65 module, the size of the board become big. And uh, GPS module is also quite small. So we, there is a lot of possibility to, to reduce the size of this one. So this is not my personal product, it's designed for a client and uh, this is based on the Voltrack V2 design uh, but the size of the parts are, are different and the packages used are quite different. So this is the same microcontroller and the level translator, the EEPROM chip, micro SIM card connector, this is the flip type the SIM connector, it's a micro SIM and uh, there are four LEDs given uh, to indicate the battery charging status and the battery low status and the network status and the other one is user defined and there is an SOS button so if you want to send an emergency alert you can use this button if you press it you can send an SMS or give a call and there is this accelerometer uh, it's used for motion detection and uh, for power savings so if there is no movement detected then the device will go to sleep and it will save the battery and most of the peripheral features were removed which were having the relay control and all those things so here uh, on the other side uh, we are having the battery charger chip the MCP73871 and this chipset is the same chipset which I discussed in my battery charger chip selection video this one gives 5 volts output uh, at the output and uh, that's why we disable the GCM module whenever the you know power is given to the USB port so this is a USB operated device and you charge the battery using the USB port and uh, use the device with the battery so that's all there is to it uh, this is almost uh, everything is similar to the wild track design and uh, the one more feedback uh, I can give about us after using this Telit uh, devices is that Telit devices are uh, much less power consuming uh, compared to the Simcom modules but uh, when they are in sleep mode uh, both of them consume almost the same but when you are in operating mode uh, the Telit modules consume much less cell power and uh, one more thing about Telit module is they don't have a power key pin there is no pin to turn it on or turn it off so uh, you need to turn it on and turn it off directly using the power so you need to have a power switch so that's why we have a power MOSFET here which uh, turns the power to the GSM module on or off. And uh, one more thing about the Telic models is that they are very expensive, they are almost three times the cost of the Simcom modules. So that's why I don't use them in any of my designs and they are not uh, easily available in the local Indian market. And uh, there are too many components needed to support this GSM module, there are a lot of uh, extra components like uh, the IO level translators are also required because the modules only operate on at 1.8 volts IO levels whereas the Simcom modules can operate up to 2.8 volts also and uh, they can take in up to 3 volts also without any issues and uh, one more thing about the Telit modules is that uh, they can operate uh, up to 3.2 volts I had tested on the battery and these devices can even when the battery is at 3.2 volts the GSM module still keeps functioning whereas the Simcom modules when they are at 3.6 volts or less the GSM module turns off and the Telit modules also have this uh, feature called the AGPS mode wherein the GSM module itself will give you the GPS location by triangulating the network towers but this is not given to everyone until it gets an NDA signed up before giving out the AT commands that uh, can be used to access the AGPS mode of this uh, GSM module. So that's one of the good feature of this Telit module so wherein you can uh, use this feature whenever there is no GPS signal available. While the same on the Simcom modules is also present but uh, I have not found that it to be uh, reliable and it only gives you the tower location instead of the triangulated location. This one will also give you the location uh, which is off by about 400 meters so you need to test and uh, define the offsets and do the calculation when you do the design. And the AT commands are also quite different compared to the normal Simcom modules or uh, different other ASICs or uh, all winner modules and uh, they use this something called AT hash format uh, instead of the AT plus command format. So these are my first uh, Telit module based designs. Using the same design we are also designing a smartwatch now. So instead of this personal tracker we will be making it much smaller and uh, be designing a smartwatch. So that's all for now. If you have any questions drop me a mail to ravi at the rate violetron.com and if you have any technical queries post it on my forum embeddedadvice.com and I will make sure to answer that. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe.